So let's let's switch up this last topic. NHL. We're getting into all of these, uh, not not the primetime sports like we're used to talking about. Obviously, we are a football-centric podcast, a football-centric show. But I like the, hockey. But but Chris likes hockey. We we like baseball. I like watching I hockey. Like hockey. Yeah, and it, once it gets in the playoffs, I'm all about some hockey. But I don't really know that much about it. Chris knows a lot more than I do. The NHL is loosening uh, their restrictions in Phase 2. They're going to start allowing workouts with up to 12 skaters. Uh, you told me that phase three starts on July 10th. And then this, we're looking. This is, yeah. The, the thing so, about hockey in, in phase two is, is it, when I first read that, I was like, oh, great. Now 12 people can work out. Good thing they got like a 19 man roster. You know, half of them get to still stay home. That doesn't make any sense to me. But then I realized phase three is coming. I don't know the details of phase three, but it's just right around. There. I mean, it's like two and a half weeks. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they're not. Once they've got to phase two, they're rapidly getting this thing ramped back up to try to figure out finishing that season. And uh, I'm excited because we're going to move right into playoff hockey, and it's going to be awesome. Do they have a um, – da, 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 I'm looking for – you If you're going to ask me details, I – No, I was going to ask about a, a, a date, like a start date. Did they ever come out with a start uh, date? Um, I'm sure it's there. I don't think it's in that article I sent you though, because I I was looking for, I was looking for just that. Let's see. Nope. Still on track for July 10th, which is the opening of Phase Three. But... Three. That's 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 the only date that I saw was Phase Three is coming quickly. I was wondering, does it have a link to get us to? It does not appear to right now. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, I would have looked for that because that was something I was curious of. But it was right when we were about to start. Let's did see. I? Did that come out? So I was like, "Well, shit, let me throw this on here." Good gracious! All right, let me let me dive back into the comments to close out the show here. Uh, Matt said, "If they don't build a stadium for the A's, they won't have any teams left in Oakland." Also, uh, in California, a five mile drive takes thirty five minutes. Uh, <laughs> Damien said, "Why not buy the Braves then?" Yeah, but you don't have to. Hold on, back to Matt. Uh, you don't have to drive the five miles. You've got public transit there. We ain't really got that in here. Like, oh no, it's not no. happening in Memphis. Uh, Damien said, why not buy the Braves then? Well, he's he just crapping on everybody right now. I, I just don't know any of these teams are for sale. Like, people no, think, I don't just buy whatever. You got some owners that are going, the, the, the money's tight right now with those owners in New York, and they, they're ready to get out. They're ready to cash in their ticket. Yeah. So. Michael said, uh, Matt, five miles is more like an hour. L.A. is awful. Uh, well, I mean, we talk about San Francisco, but it, it's still really bad. It's, it's pretty awful. Um, Listen, you got the beach right there. Weather is beautiful. I'm sorry you're stuck in traffic. I'm really sorry. You know what it's like here? It sucks. We live in Mississippi, and it sucks. Okay? (laughs) I want to hear about sunny and 75 every day of your damn life, and, oh, traffic's bad, though. It ain't that in San Francisco. I promise you that. It ain't that in San Francisco. It is cold. What did Mark Twain say? Uh, The coldest summer I ever spent in my life was spent in San Francisco. Or no, the the yeah, the coldest summer was that what he said? Damn, I, no I thought I was going to sound smart for that real quick. It, uh, again, don't ever accuse us of being smart. Ben <laughs> said. Then we complained about how the wild card is only one game. Michael said, Ben, I don't blame you. I hate the Giants and the Dodgers. Uh, let's see. Joseph said, My first good gracious, I'll take it. Yeah, Joseph, you got a uh, you got a good one there, brother. Let's see. Public transportation equals COVID, Gary. Michael <laughs> tossed that one in there. <laughs> apparently, so. <laughs> Uh, and then he said, it's hot in L.A., Chris, no 75 degrees. Yeah, in, in SoCal, yeah, it's definitely that. In NorCal, oh, it's I'm different. sorry. Uh, 30-minute drive to the to the ocean is nice. It's hot. Ben said hot Sacramento's ocean. in a valley. Stuff cooks down here in the summer. Yeah, it cooks here, too. Feels like you're walking in a wet blanket, brother. I was about to say, we're walking. McGarry, you say, it feels like we're walking around somebody's mouth. Yeah. Uh, Matt said, Matt's, uh, the Mets are only for sale because of the Bernie Madoff stuff. They are in debt. Yes, that is correct. That's I completely forgotten about that, but that's that's what's going on. They're selling the team, and A Rod's a part of it, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. I think it's going to be good for baseball because I think A Rod will 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 bring a little spice a little, life, to it. A little pizzazz. Yeah, I'm in with it. Uh, Michael said, "Chris, you're killing me. Come on down to the breach, brother. I bet you get road rage." <laughs> and then Damian, one last one. He said, "The Detroit Tiger, uh, Tigers are very cheap, just like the Lions." Well, yeah, no. there you go. Problem is, is that it. Ford family that owns the lines, I think they're worth a little bit of cheese. And, and they, they ain't know, selling. You're not prying that from anybody's hands. They ain't selling 
ain't no problem. I don't know who the Lions owner, uh, who owns the Tigers. I should know that. I, I would imagine know. it's probably the same, the same no, bunch, wouldn't you think? No, I, I doubt it. I doubt the Ford family owns both of them. I am looking to see if there are any breaking topics. Da, 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 and I don't see I used anything. to know who all these owners were at one point in time because I was a big nerd. Uh... Not oh, the Little did, Caesars founder dude. That dude's from Cleveland. That's surprising. That's really surprising. Um, did you know that the ESPYs were uh, were last night? Yeah, I saw on Twitter somebody said, how terrible were the ESPYs last night? And I was like, what? Wait, the ESPYs were on last night? See, this is the problem with ESPN right now, okay? Two seconds on this. Go ahead. We, we can close out with this. They only advertise stuff that's going to be on their show on their network. Buy a little advertising time on Amazon and and Hulu and these other things so people can remember to turn your network on. I haven't turned ESPN on, on since the draft. Yeah. No, since the Michael Jordan stuff. That's it. Like you have to tell me, and I'm not going to just be hanging out on your network already. Okay. People who are hanging out on your network already are already going to watch this stuff because they just hang out on your network all day. But us normal people without live sports aren't just hanging out on ESPN anymore. Okay. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, these things are pretty fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I agree. A lot of good stuff on there. Uh, Ben said, you should be glad you didn't watch it. Uh, Michael said the Bruce Lee 30 for 30 was good. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we can watch that on ESPN Plus. Like we don't have to. I didn't know that that was a thirty for thirty. I gotta find oh, somebody. Yeah. One of our buddies told us about the King Griffey Jr. doc last night. I did. I worshipped that guy growing up. I didn't know that MLB did that, so now I gotta go find that. Hey, Damian said. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Michael. By the way, said tomorrow we decide who's the cheapest franchise in sports. I think we could probably kind of dive into that one a little bit. We gotta define in sports. Yeah, because, because like MLS teams obviously not going to cost nearly as much as NFL. No, yeah, you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bet there's some minor league baseball teams that are that yeah. you could get for a couple sandwiches. You got that right. Uh, and then finally, last one, of course, this is the end of it. Right. Damien said, "Hey, you know y'all are old school wrestling fans. What are y'all's thoughts on the Undertaker announcing his retirement?" I thought the Undertaker had retired he did. like three or four different times now. Oh, no, no, no. I like, thought he officially retired after WrestleMania. Uh, WrestleMania. They did like this big, but, but he also did this fight. Like, I thought it was, and then they did a documentary afterwards called The Last Ride yeah. about him retiring. Did he retire again? Because he hasn't fought since then. Uh, no. Like, now it's, it's as of today. It's, I don't Maybe know. he just filed his paperwork finally. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's what it is. I mean, it's just... It's an end of an era. I mean, we're... Oh, yeah. Obviously grew up with The Undertaker. Gary's little brother... Dressed as him. Yeah. But, you know. I... Yes, it's the end of an era. He's been doing this for, I mean, my gosh, almost 40 years at this point. Yeah, I think longer than we've been alive, so that's... uh, I'll tell you what I watched last Tuesday or Wednesday uh, after the show was over. Had a buddy come over. We social distanced, but we ate some dinner while my wife was out of town. And we turned on FS1 and watched the 1996 Survivor Series. And it was Undertaker against Mankind. And it was like The Rock's first uh, real appearance in the Survivor Series before he was actually called The Rock. Um, and who else did we have? Good gracious. Uh, Brett the Hitman Hart against Stone Cold. Like, also, it was it was pretty entertaining to watch. I'll tell you that. So, yeah, it's the end of an era. It sucks. Uh, but man, like how did his body not give out a decade ago? You know, I don't, I don't know. I I do wonder, will we ever truly know the type of drugs that these guys were on? Because I gotta think this, there just has to be massive amounts of HGH running through every one of these dudes that are all, I mean, Rick Flair was getting out there and the guy's body is just has to be living off of HGH yeah. and steroids. Oh, 100%. Uh, another topic on this, The Undertaker, probably the last character that we will ever see who fully holds two character, like in, in his from personal start, life and that. Like, you never saw him finish. outside of that. From start to finish, too, man. Yeah. Like, so many of these guys evolve and change. I mean, you brought up Stone Cold, and I brought up years ago how he originated as one of the bodacious blondes. And oh, then yeah. he... He had an image switch when he went to the WWE. As, and, and so uh, did the, the Undertaker did that too. But 
the Undertaker just made it last forever, right? So no, he's he changed his image, but he was always the Undertaker. No, no, he's uh, uh, he was what was his name? Like Fantastic Mark or something? When he was in WCW, he was not the Undertaker. Oh, we don't know when he first started. Yeah, when he first started. Well, none of these guys are given a great gimmick when they first start. But agreed. Agreed. He became the Undertaker, and he stayed that his entire career. Stone Cold was actually very famous as a bodacious blonde, and <laughs> just wasn't as famous. Uh, Matt said, he, uh, hey, he was on college game day for LSU versus Texas, repping the horns. Yeah, I mean, yeah, believe yeah. that. And then Michael said, hey, isn't Kane the mayor down in Tennessee? Uh, he is. He, he is. is the mayor of, of Knoxville? or I think it's Knox County. It's Knox County. Yeah, yes. Knox County. I, I don't think that's where Knoxville is, but. No, I, um, he's not the mayor of Knoxville. But he's yeah. mayor of a town in Knox County. Yep, Undertaker's little brother. Not in real life, but on, on the show. Believe it. All right. He's That's, good mayor, too. I, I, yeah. I like the guy. I like the guy a lot. From what I've uh, read from up there, seems to be running it just fine. So Really smart dude. Has a, just a logical way of thinking about things. Not always, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, the it's best, just, but. Jesse Ventura, you know, guys like that. They, they, they seem to. I'm a, now, now we're going to get a little. I'm a big Jesse fan. We'll, we'll big. dive into that tomorrow. We're already 50 minutes in. Let's go on and get out of here. close this thing out. Um, all right. Damien said, sadly, we'll never get that dream match with Undertaker versus Sting. Nope, that one is uh, is long gone. I think it's been gone for a while now. So, all right, you guys have been fantastic. All of you that jumped in the chat, of course, we owe the show to you. You drive the conversation. We definitely appreciate you always jumping in. Make sure that you share it out with your buddies and leave a nice review over on Apple Podcast, etc. Share it out however you do it, whether it's word of mouth or on Facebook, Twitter, etc., uh, Instagram, all that Whatever stuff. All these different social media profiles that I don't even know how many there are anymore. Tell everybody you know about it. We would definitely appreciate it. Uh, with that said, go to winningcureseverything.com. Check out the new layout. Tell me what you like about it, what you don't like, etc. And I think that's going to do it for today. Chris, anything else? That's it, brother. That is it. All right, guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.